Chris here with Sirenet Television. Beautiful day to be at Star Cars to give you a look at a vehicle they've just completed, a 2019 Chevy Tahoe for law enforcement use. Decked out with a variety of manufacturers that we're proud to represent, we'll start with the wheel and engineering lighting and siren package. Up top on the roof, we have the Duo Liberty 2 Series. A nice feature that this vehicle has been equipped with when it comes to the controller is the Syncom Carbide with Connect. So tying that into the OBD2 port, when the doors open, deactivates the corner and the alley, reclose it, back to full flashing. Nice way to mix in red, blue, and white. Plenty of scene lighting features to be found, as we'll go over that in a minute with the control head and push buttons. But tying into the front of the vehicle, under the rear view mirrors, with the vehicle-specific wedge for the Tahoe, the Whelan V-Series lights. Red driver, blue passenger, looks just perfect. They have the puddle light feature for nighttime. Unity spotlights, of course, gotta have those up on the A-pillars. When it comes to the front of the vehicle, you wanted to have protection, so the PB400 from Satina and PB5 fender wraps takes care of that. Perfect placement when it comes to helping with the speaker mounts. So we have a pair of SA315Ps from Whelan with L brackets. Up in the center portion of the grille, the ions in a red-blue split, ions in a tricolor format, which are flashing through the main siren and lighting control system, angled in the center section, surface mounted on the sides for wonderful intersection protection, and to help round out the low level, surface mount microns, and then the headlights, gotta have those wigwagging away, so took care of that with a sound off signal module. I'm inside the vehicle now, Put us down into position number two on the slide switch. Takedown has a double tap on the control head. Press number one, high intensity takedown, center mounted in the Liberty 2 bar, and on the push bumper, you will notice the tricolor ions now overriding to white. Second tap, full light bar turns into its scene lighting mode across the front. Alleys have a similar function. Press number one on right and left is in the overhead, and the secondary press on both left and right alley will activate the surface mount tricolor ions in white on the push bumper. Also tying in with the alleys when they are turned into steady burn is the rear corners on the Liberty 2 light bar, extending white illumination to the rear corner panels. Now that you've had a look at how helpful the illumination features on the Tahoe are, we'll follow the rest of the warning package down for the side profile, ending with the tricolor Avenger 2. The rear of the vehicle, I really like how the lighting is essentially sectioned, starting at the top with the red and blue alternating blast of the Liberty 2 light bar. Upper portion of the hatch, solid color ions, red and blue nicely alternating. Tying into the taillights, tail light flasher, that's part of the headlight flasher from sound off. And Star Cars took the halogen bulbs out and actually took the Phoenix Cannon 120, put it in the same insert hole as the original reverse light. So now white and blue flashing and white LED reverse lights. So a neat upgrade. Then moving ourselves even further downward, they do have the ability to go steady burn when they're not flashing, but sound off signal and the classic ghost rock light. So the heavy duty bracket on them works perfectly being tucked down there on the back of the Tahoe. When the hatch goes up, you know Star Cars loves doing this little trick and subsidizing the rear-facing lighting with the vertexes. They have done a wonderful job at tucking in this great big truck vault storage drawer system. So nice medium length pull drawers that we happen to have here. Big center lockable drawer, great solution for securing firearms. This is my favorite. This is where they have hidden all the electronics. So yes, they are hidden away, but so easily accessible. So this is going to be the main for the Panasonic camera system on the vehicle, side, front, rear facing. Amplifier for tying into the Motorola radio. This is their power distribution system and the amplifier for the Syncom carbide. An add-on enhancement done to the Syncom carbide system is this little box here. It's the WeCan external amplifier. Adding this on allows the system to have 200 watts of dual-toning siren amplification. We also have these little guys, Wheelins dual-color compartment lights. Flip of a switch, red, changing over to white. 
Middle of the Tahoe, let's start on the doors. Satina and their polycarbonate window barrier and TPO door panels. Star Cars has done a nice cutout so the Panasonic side view cameras fit just right with them. ADEC and their wonderful Tahoe specific molded transport seat extending all the way down to the floor basin. And from Satina, solid polycarbonate window, recessed center panel partition. So myself being six foot two in the vehicle, as you can see, not even extending my knees into the front barrier. Illumination, yes, it does have it built into this, and that is with a Whelan three inch compartment light. That's controlled by the operator on the control head, selectable between white and red. For the driver, everything is in a Gamber Johnson Tahoe specific equipment console. Adjustable slide arm up here for the docking station for the Panasonic CF54 computer. Here we have the controller for the Stalker radar and speed monitoring system, Motorola and Kenwood radio for the communications, and here lighting and siren controller for the Syncom carbide system. This is the CAN CTL7. A trick feature that Star Cars is programmed in when the Tahoe's lighting package is actually in the off mode is the cruise. So taking in the corners of the Liberty 2 light bar and a few other touches of the lighting system, it just grants an identification of red and blue coloring to the vehicle when it's stopped. In the engine bay, next to the main kill switch through the entire electrical system, we have wheel and engineering and the CAN EM16 expansion module. This is what Star Cars is taking advantage of to connect the vast amount of lighting into this system. Less lighting, this is something you're not going to need. Well, we're going to call it a wrap on this episode of SirenNet Television. Thank you for joining me down here at Star Cars. The guys have done a fantastic job, as always, in getting a factory SUV tuned into a machine proper for law enforcement. I'm Chris. To stay up to date with us, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.